Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, what we're going to take a look at is uh, our new drag with velocity. So, yay, um, we should have had this a long time ago. We kind of did. We had drag with damping, and that was a little bit different, and so now we're much better. Yay. So thanks, people who have mentioned that in the forum. So we're going to go into examples right here. Do we have an example for that? I think we do. Ah, oh, slide velocity right here. So we press on that, and here's what we're talking about. Now when we uh, swipe things, and here's a list. When we swipe things, that's velocity that is slowing down. We had drag equation, or damping equations on it, and what that meant is when we swiped it like that, it would slow down more quickly than it is doing right now. So this is letting it go uh, for quite some time. Isn't that nice? Woo! And there it is throwing around a circle as well, so that's just on zim drag. The window here, well, the list, which is a window, is using that built in. This is a, a custom one right here that just to show you how you could handle it yourself as well. Note the snap as well. So we've got snap on there. Even when we're throwing things, it snaps back into um, our time. So we still have damping around, and the damping is how quickly that will come back into place. But it, it's different than the, the, the slide velocity. Now, whoop, reset. Uh, along with our dragging uh, velocity, we also have changed zim drag to have an axis. So he, right here, this is demonstrating drag on horizontal. Okay, we could do that before with boundary, which is the first parameter, boundary. And you would set the height, in this case, to be zero, and then it would drag within a boundary. That's usually quite handy because you, you can set limits to x and, you know, the, the left and right, for instance. But here, no limits, and it's simply the next parameter over is the axis. So if you were using many parameters in drag, such as on top or all, and you weren't using the Zim Duo technique, then you'll want to watch your parameter order because that's that's been changed. All right, so always see the updates in Zim right up at the top of the docs. There's an updates link to find out where the breaks are. All right. Good. But isn't that nice? So I would, if I were you, because that, that's, um, that's such a nice throw that we've got going on there, that uh, it might be worth updating some old examples that we're using list to the newer version of Zim, Zim014. If you are up uploading uh, or updating, then you might want to take a look here. So under uh, tips, first of all, I've just gone down to the bottom by pressing the bar under tips right there in the gold bars. There's changes. So what to do if if there are changes? So how do how do you update code into the latest version? We also have up at the in the code section a um, a template right here that is convert. So here's the convert template, and the convert template shows you how to collect the frame stage stage width and stage height right inside of the ready function of Zim014. And once you do that, all of those things then will be available for you as well, and that makes converting um, easier. Okay, but anyway, this is more about other things, and that's that's great. Um, once again, as well, in the docs, you have the updates link right there, updates. And then uh, this is the latest version, and here are the things that are breaking. So zim drag right there. We've just gone to breaks. These are the things that uh, now has a parameter change. Okay. All right, I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling a Zim. And we took a look at the new sliding with velocity. That's a, a wonderful update. Uh, yay, Team Zim. Woohoo! All right, come visit us at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to see you. Let us know if you have anything that, uh, that you want Zim to do. Cheers.